This week on Home Learning Art, we're looking at animal tracks in movement. There are two experiments you can do, but first we're going to look at animal tracks. You could tell a lot about an animal by its footprint. In fact, we can learn a lot about different animals from their feet. Elephants can hear through their feet. They emit low frequency sounds using their large vocal cords that can travel dozens of miles through the air and under the ground. Distance elephants then hear by interpreting the sound waves using sensitive nerve endings in their giant feet. Can you tell which birds left these footprints? In fact, there's only one bird with two toes, the ostrich. The two toes at the bottom allow the ostrich to have very light feet with all the muscles and weights at the top, meaning they can run really fast, up to 40 kilometers an hour. Going down even further, there's some animals which only have one toe. Can you guess? Here's the hint, they're mammals. And a member of the equus genus. That's right, horses, donkeys, and zebras. The single hoof is actually the main of a toe. The others were lost during evolution. The ancient horses actually had four toes, which were slowly lost during their evolution to create lighter and stronger feet. The shape and frequency of an animal's tracks tell you where they normally live, their habitat, and what they eat. Are they herbivores or carnivores? Do they live in trees, the land, or the sea? Have a look at the worksheet and try and match each of the different animals to their tracks. The experiment this week needs a potato too, paint, paper, but you could also use sponges, but they're hard to cut, or thick cardboard, but that's a bit messier. First, choose an animal to make the tracks for. Cut the potato in half, then draw or trace the footprint onto half of it. Take a second to walk across the room and think where your footprints would be. How does your animal move? What tracks would it leave? Try some prints and then have a look at a video of the animal in motion. We did a badger footprint, and here's a link to the video above. What tracks does it leave? How does it move? Were you correct or not? The faster an animal moves, the shape and distance of the tracks change. Think about which part of your foot hits the floor when you walk, run, or jump. The second experiment looks at this, how animal moves. It explores this using the precursor to films and moving pictures, the zoetrope. Before TV or movies were invented, people marveled at the fact a picture could actually move. Travelers used to move around performing magic lantern shows, and some were even accused of witchcraft. The zoetrope comes from the Greek zoe, meaning life, and tropos, turning, is a translation of the wheel of life. Early versions of this were invented by the Chinese thousands of years ago, but the most common version was invented in the 1860s. The zoetrope allows a number of still images to blend together to create a moving image. If you've ever seen or made a flipbook, it's similar to one of those. You just need the worksheet, a pencil, and I like to use either a cereal box or a thicker card, but it works with paper too. Print out the zoetrope template, cut it out and stick it together. You could use the example strip of a horse to give you an idea of how it works. Then choose an animal to do yourself. Watch a video of the animal running. You could watch it in slow motion or stop it at different points to see where the legs are. Draw a number of pictures in each of the boxes to create a loop of the animal running. Slot it in to your zoetrope and see how the animal moves. If you want, you could compare different animals and see how their gait changes. An antelope moves very different to a cheetah. Why do you think that is? If you're, trying to, if you're finding it difficult to see, try widening the slits and spinning it at a different speed. That should help you get a smooth, smooth motion. If you do it properly, you'll have a single loop of a, an animal moving. But if you look from the top, it only looks like a blur. From the side, it's a smooth movement. This is because your brain only sees flashes of the picture and it's geared to piece them together to see movement. If you look at old films, uh, they're like this, a strip of pictures strung together to create the appearance of movement. Cool, eh? Remember to write up your experiments and keep a record of your scientific method. Thanks for watching this week, and I hope you enjoyed the look into animals and their movement. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next week.